everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore, and today I'm sharing this cute little panda card with you. I love this little stamp set, and I couldn't wait to share it with you because he's so stinking cute. He is adorable. So this panda comes from the Party Panda stamp set. And this is a celebration choice. So today starts the Occasions Catalog. It's January 3rd. And so the Occasions Catalog went live today. And so did Celebration. Because along with the Occasions, we do Celebration, which is for every $50 you spend, you get to choose a free stamp set. And this is one of the free stamp sets you can choose. So I could not wait to use him. He's so cute. I love this. This is one of my favorite in the Celebration brochure. There's so much good stuff in there this year. So if you do not have a demonstrator and you'd like the catalog, um, contact me and I will be happy to help you. You can go to my blog at stampingwiththemore.com and go to the contact section and don't forget to leave your name and address so that I can mail you out the Occasions catalog. Alright, so that is it. So for this card, you're going to need a basic Whisper White card base, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. So it's actually five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. You're going to need a piece of the designer series paper. I'm using a different background on this one, but it's the same uh, six by six stack. And this is um, four by five and a quarter. You'll need a piece of Whisper White to stamp your little panda, and then a piece of Berry Burst for the um, back um, piece, which is our Lots of Labels framelits. So I'm using the larger, largest and the second largest one on here. So for the Berry Burst, you're going to use the larger one, and then the, little, the smaller one is for your panda to cut out. So you'll need that. And then you're going to also, I'm using this um, per Picture Perfect Party 6x6 paper. I love this. One side has an image. If you saw my haul that I did, you saw this 6x6 uh, six six, six pack. But all of them have images. Look at there's cookies, there's balloons, there's numbers, there's donuts, there's candles. This is super cute. Look at the little party favors. I love this. And then the other side is just your basic um, patterns. And I love this. This is the one I used on the first one, but I'm going to use the other confetti on the on this one just to give you a little variation. I'm also using these the Tutti Frutti adhesive backed sequins, which if you saw my haul, you saw these, but my camera cut out when I opened them. And I didn't realize it, so you didn't get to see inside. So um, look how cute these are. And they're so bright and cheery. And they are adhesive back, so they make this super easy to adhere these to your cards or whatever you're going to adhere them to. So we are using those. And I think that's everything. I'm going to use the finely woven, woven ribbon, and this is the berry burst one. I'm going to use this also. So I think that is it. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is stamp our um, little panda. And I'm going to use um, the Memento Black for this because I want to color his balloon. And I'm going to use my Berry Burst ink. So I have him upside down because you can see it's easier to stamp. And you can see you'll have better coverage. And make sure, because he has a lot of black areas. So we want that to be. So I'm going to stamp him. And I'm going to hold it there for a second because there are a lot of black areas to him. And I want to make sure the ink absorbs into the cardstock. So look at how cute is he. Oh my goodness, I love this thing. He's so cute. And then I'm going to use the little high from the same stamp set. And I'm going to put it inside the balloon. Oh, I did it upside down. <laughs> Let's turn that over and try that again. 
we're going to do it on this side. That's why it's so good that cardstock has double sides. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and stamp him again. How many times have any of you done that? Oh my goodness, I just didn't pay attention. Alright, so we are going to stamp him again, and we're going to try that again. <laughs> And this is a wood mount stamp set, which it does come in the clear also, but um, for some reason I just messed up and I didn't get it. Ordered the wrong one, but I really love this set. There we go. <laughs> now that's right, right side up. Okay, so we are ready to, I'm going to just color him using my aqua painter and a little bit of the ink that I had smushed on the lid here. So I'm just going to use Berry Burst. And I'm just going to lightly color the balloon. And that's it. I just wanted to give that a little bit of color. And now I'll bring up the big shot here, and we will cut our pieces. I'm going to have to do these separately because they are pretty good sized pieces. So you'll, I'm using my magnetic platform, my base, and then we are going to use the smaller, lots of label for him. Let me turn them the other way so I can make sure I have him in there good. good. Alright, so we're going to run him through. He's so cute. Oh, I just think he is the most adorable. I love pandas anyway, but look how cute. So cute. And then we're going to just run through the larger one with the berry burst. And we will have like a little mat for him. And if you don't have this, um, you can cut out a rectangle and do the same thing with it. If you don't have these framelits, these framelits I use so much though. They are really good investment. I use them for a, a lot of different things. All right, let's scoot this out of the way. And we are ready to go ahead and attach him. To here and then what I'm going to do is I'm just using my hole punch and I'm going to punch a hole here and in the center here this is where we're going to tie our little bow which I'll go ahead and do this part right now so I'm going to just do it on the spool so I don't waste any so you're just going to tie like a knot this is kind of a faux look. It looks like the ribbon's going all around the whole card, but you're just going to tie a knot here. I need to get my ribbon scissors out here. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. My hands are freezing, y'all. It is 16 here this morning, and this is Texas. <laughs> it is really cold, and my room seems to be cold. I don't know why. All the vents are open in here. I had my husband check, but I've also been sick, so maybe it's just me. This is really unusual for Texas. <laughs> All right, so that is that, and that's ready to go. So, Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to attach. I need to just put a little bit of adhe adhesive. Actually, you can use your snail for this part. But just in the middle here, 
and what I'm going to do, I don't remember if I even showed you that you need these pieces, but you need like two, three inch pieces. You really don't even need three inches. You could probably do two, but we're going to attach this to the front. My thing's not wanting to work. Just like that. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. I almost adhered that to that. And then this, you can definitely probably just do two. But this is giving that faux look like it's wrapped around the whole card. And then what we're going to do is adhere this to the front of your card base. And those hats really cute on the other side. So we're going to adhere this here. And then we're ready to attach our little panda. So he's going to go like that because so you can see where the other ribbon is showing through here. So let's go ahead and attach him. So you just eyeball the center of it so you can line him up right in the center and he is the highlight of this little card. He's so cute. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab those little sequins. I'm going to see if I've got my little, yeah, here it is. And I'm going to use the lemon lime twist ones. You could really use any color on this one because it has a lot of little colors in the background. And we're going to put a couple here. Look how easy these are to use. I love these things. And that's it. He's so cute and it's so quick and easy. So here's the other one. I think I like the stripe better. Tell me which one you like better. I really love those stripes. It's just big and bold and it just really makes it stand out. So that is it everyone. If you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and shop right from my blog. So have a happy new year and have a blessed day everyone. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.